Uh, yes, uh, we think that uh, the government should have followed through on the plan that it had laid out as recently as April. Uh, if they had done that, the uh, deficit uh, for next year would be just 1.5% uh, of GDP instead of the 27 that's projected. And if we look out to 2018, um, all else equal, the debt would be about $10 billion less. So we have sort of decisively moved the public finances into uh, what we call a zone of safety in this report. So we do think there was an opportunity missed there. They probably bowed to political pressure, though, um, given that people have had enough of austerity and wanted something back. Well, we absolutely understand that people are uh, fed up uh, with austerity after uh, seven uh, tough budgets that's really squeezed their incomes and uh, also uh, they've faced the effects of the recession itself. But we must remember that spending is still well in excess uh, of revenues. The deficit this year is going to be about uh, seven uh, billion. So any additional <laughs> borrowing uh, doesn't mean that the, the, the burden is avoided, but it's really just uh, uh, deferred to the future. And we're facing very strong spending pressures coming from demographics. And we still have a very high debt that leaves us in a very uh, vulnerable position, but still a very fragile uh, world economy. So we understand the pressures that the government was under, but from really an economics point of view, uh, there was a strong uh, case for following through on that original plan. One of the things you, you notice kind of missing is a, a medium-term plan. I mean, back at the time of, of entering the Troika bailout, we had a four-year plan, etc. We're sort of lacking a, a forward-looking plan. Is that what you're saying? Well, one of the, thing, one of the things we know is that uh, politics uh, led to uh, big uh, uh, budgetary policy mistakes in the past that did us an awful lot of, of damage. Uh, and one valuable legacy of the crisis is that we have a strong uh, budgetary framework. But a key part of that is good uh, medium-term planning. Uh, and uh, that falls down a bit uh, in the most recent budget. So there really isn't a well-specified medium-term plan at all. It's really based on technical assumptions that tax rates won't change and spending will remain constant. While the government has really said that it in, intends in uh, to reduce taxes, and even elsewhere in the budgetary documentation, uh, talks about increases in expenditure ceilings. Uh, but more broadly, uh, good medium-term planning involves a sort of a bottom-up approach where you identify uh, spending pressures, uh, you identify where efficiency can, can be made, uh, where spending can be reprioritized, and then you hold departments to it because uh, they're based on a sort of sound analysis of the pressures. What we're getting is instead is more of a top-down approach, uh, which doesn't adequately take into account those uh, pressures. And then we see the expenditure ceilings being sort of changed year on year as those uh, pressures come about, uh, not uh, sort of creating the certainty and, and, uh, and, and discipline. Uh, that good medium-term uh, planning requires. So I think that is an area that could be improved. One of the things um, that people maybe got a lot, a bit of excited, excitement about was the, the high growth rates in the first uh, part of the year. Um, your message is uh, be careful about those. Well, there certainly is strong uh, underlying uh, uh, momentum in growth, uh, and that's not just in the, uh, in the export sector, but we see it in, in, in domestic demand. Uh, but there are uh, some sort of anomalies in the uh, in the numbers for the for the first half of the year, uh, uh, and it, it's possible that some of that uh, growth uh, could uh, uh, disappear. So we need to be careful. Uh, so there's always a lot of uncertainty about Irish growth, and there's probably uh, even greater uncertainty than usual at the moment, and that must be uh, taken into account in fiscal planning. Um, final question. Um, there would be a lot of speculation that the government might uh, go into uh, pre-election planning mode uh, next year and, and look at a giveaway budget. What would your advice be there? Well, we can understand that there are uh, a lot of uh, political uh, pressures uh, on the government. Uh, we look at it from the point of view of what's good for the economy, what's good for people long term. Uh, we can uh, we're under sort of less pressure, so we can uh, afford to take a sort of a more uh, future orientated uh, perspective. Uh, but in terms of what's sort of good for the uh, economy long term, uh, it certainly would be better to avoid uh, repeating the kind of mistakes that have been made in the past that did such damage.